At 33 years of age, after two and a half years of in-office vision therapy, I developed what's called stereopsis, or stereoscopic vision. And what this meant was I had never seen the world in 3D. I mean, it just looked completely flat to me, and I couldn't judge the distances between things. I didn't see space. Uh, 3D vision allows you to see space and see where you are in space in relationship to other things in space. So when I developed the 3D vision, everything popped out in 3D and it was absolutely miraculous. And, and at that time I realized, wow, if I had had this as a child, my whole life would have been different. It would have been a completely different life. And um, so then that's when I wanted to teach people about this really successful and non-violent, non-surgical treatment for, for strabismus. I co-authored and designed a science and education book, and art, really. It was a magic eye book in the middle of the 90s. Magic eye went all over the world. It was translated into 20 languages. It was those, uh, those kind of 3D color patterns, patterns that you had to look at a certain way and a 3D shape would pop out. And those were really, truly binocular depth perception tests. That, how the, that is how they were invented. So I designed one of those books and wrote it to teach people about stereoscopic vision, 3D vision, and also how it works, that the fact that it can be uh, changed, that there's treatment for it, all of these things. And then I took that and I turned it into a website in 1996. And then I started, continued with Optometrist Network continue to create patient education sites that teach about all the different visual conditions that are related to stereoscopic vision and strabismus.org is one of them. So I created www.strabismus.org which I think to this day is the most comprehensive medical site about strabismus and all its associated conditions that's on the internet.